that's a decent amount. Uh, I know it's not B. I, I've read that play. Uh, I'll go with the audience. I'll say D. Going with the audience, saying D, making it your final answer. And the audience is right. <laughs> got two more questions to pick up two more lifelines that would make it four seven away from ten million dollars here it comes for fifty thousand dollars what is the term for a common internet scam that uses fake emails to trick you into giving out personal data phishing frauding fixing fooling I've heard of it, but I don't recall. Um, I don't think it's fooling. I'd like to phone a friend. Sure. I'd like to phone my brother-in-law, Chad. Chad. All right, let's get Chad on the line. Hello? Hello, Chad. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from Super Millionaire here in New York. Yes, Regent. How you doing? How are you? Good. Well, we're fine. We have Chris here, and he's a big hit here in New York City. Good. He may never come home to Calhoun. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing pretty well, too. He's going for $50,000 right now, and he needs a little help on this last question. So you've got 30 seconds, Chad, and your time starts right now. Chad, what is the term for a common Internet scam that uses fake emails to trick you into giving out personal data? Phishing, frauding, Fixing or fooling? Fishing. Fishing. How sure? 100%. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. You're going to go with what he said? Go with fishing. And yes. make it your final answer. And let's see if he's right. Yes, he's right. <laughs> From uh, Calhoun, Georgia, 29 years old, is going for $100,000 in just a couple of seconds. And so how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Tell me a little more about your life. What exactly do you do? Well, my grandmother's developing all summer, so I stay with her and make sure, you know, she gets fed and gets her medicine. And then if the rest of the family, if they don't, you know, they need, like, car work done or electrical work done or anything that they can't do, I'll do it for them. So you're on the family payroll, Mark. Right, right. <laughs> So what does the what does the family pay you for your service? About two or three hundred dollars a week. Uh huh. You get by on that and everything's okay. Yes. Yeah. I win enough playing trivia to where I can eat for free. <laughs> oh. <good. laughs> and uh, apparently you've been winning a lot of money. <laughs> I haven't been missing many meals. Yeah. And if you win even enormous sums of money here, what are you going to do with it? I'll probably buy my mom a house and really? buy me a house. Does your mom know this? Yes, I've yeah, told her. Yeah, there's the mom right up there. Hi, Sharon. How Hi. you doing? Hi, Andrew. Got a good boy here. Well, that's nice. I think he's in a terrific position right now. I mean, he's going for $100,000. He still has that 50-50. Let's get up to the next level and get those uh, other lifelines. So, ready, Chris? Yes, sir. Then let's play. For $100,000, which of these animal parts is also known as a carapace? Elephant's trunk, turtle's shell, lion's mane, deer's antlers. None, none of them really jump out at me as being what I think. I wouldn't think it'd be a mane because it's a pair. I'd like to use my 50-50. Okay, why don't we do that? Computer, please randomly take away two of those wrong answers. Well, it's the elephant's trunk, turtle's shell. And the first thing that popped in my mind is still up there. Uh, this 
lot of money. Once a bean turtle shell. Uh, before you do, you know, you're gonna uh, lose 45,000 here uh, if you're uh, wrong. All right. 100,000 if you got it right. You Sounds like you wanna go for it. Yes. You wanna say? Final answer. Turtle shell final answer. Yes! Yeah! 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 $100,000. Wow. Right here. And now you have broken through to the other side of this game, Chris, where every correct answer builds and builds and builds and earns you millions and right. millions of dollars in prize money. So now I want you to close your eyes, relax, take a deep breath, and get ready. Okay? okay. Because, Chris, you are about to enter the next dimension of Super Millionaire. This. You're just five questions away from winning $10 million. Five more correct answers. Numbers are staggering now. Next question worth a half million, then a million, two and a half million, five million, all the way up to $10 million. A lot of rewards, a lot of risk. So now those two new lifelines kick in, you know, double dip, and of course the three wise men. And now we can reveal the identities of those three wise men. Standing by to help you if you get stuck on a question are historian and author of Don't Know Much About History, Ken Davis, managing editor at People Magazine, Albert Kim, and former million dollar winner, Nancy Christie. There they are. Thank you for joining us, wise men and women. That's a great panel. And now we're going to cut off their audio and their video feed, but Chris, when you need their help, and they're going to get 30 seconds to talk it over, see if they can help you. Okay. Your second lifeline is double dip, which will give you two cracks, two shots at answering that question. But beware, because once you confirm you want to use it, you cannot walk away. You must answer the question. Understand all that? Yes, sir. Sure you do. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's ready. Let's play Super Millionaire. <laughs> Going now for $500,000. What U.S. states two Republican senators voted not guilty in Bill Clinton's impeachment trial. Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, Maine, Washington. I think, uh, I know Pennsylvania has one Republican senator. I'm not really sure on the rest. Um, I'd like to Use the wise men. Shall we go to the wise men? You yes. confirm you want to use the wise men? I confirm my use All right. Men. So let's go backstage to our three wise men. Hello, wise people. How are you? Fine, thank you. They're ready. They look like they're ready. They're in good shape. Chris needs your help right now. He's won a hundred thousand dollars and is going for a half million. In a few moments, you're going to see and hear the question, and you'll have 30 seconds to give him your advice. So here it comes. Your 30 seconds starts right now. What U.S. state's two Republican senators voted not guilty in Bill Clinton's impeachment trial? Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, Maine, Washington. Oh it's got to be a New England person. Uh, and Maine would be two Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? What do you put your best? Ten I'm going to go against Rhode Island. Rhode Island is... It's got to be in New England, is what we're thinking, in I Rhode think Island or Maine. I think it's Maine, Maine or Rhode Island. Island. It sounded like they uh, liked Rhode Island. Right. Which is, you know, a free guess. I don't lose anything if I do miss it. Rhode Island or Maine, I think is what they said. Yes. I'll go with them. I'll say A, Rhode Island. Final answer? Final. Oh, no, it is not oh. It's Maine. Oh, All right. Shut it. Shut well, we got a hundred thousand. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Oh, what a shame! Terrible. Yes, yes. Maine's two Republican senators did vote against the impeachment, as did both of Rhode Island's two senators, but one of them was a Democrat, and that was the difference. Yeah, came close, didn't he? We're sorry to see the big guy go. But for a guy who makes 